Hi, my name is Scott Voss and I'm with the Arizona Department of Health Services and I oversee the Strategic National Stockpile Program, also known as the SNS. And right now we're within one of our warehouses for our, storing our, our medicines and our medical materials such as masks and gloves and other personal protective equipment. What I'd like to do is just take a few moments to talk to you about what we have within the state for our protection as citizens within the state as well as our residents and, and our friends who are here. Um, talk about how that process goes and how quickly we can get that material out to start protecting you, um, our residents and friends. Uh, first we start off with what is available to us within the state. We have a cache uh, which is a repository or in other words a, a whole pile uh, of things for us such as uh, antibiotics, uh, antivirals, uh, things that we use to protect us from a biological attack or a naturally occurring disease within the state. Uh, we also have personal protective equipment, such as what we have here, masks and, and uh, uh, visors. And all this is able to be mobilized very rapidly and provided out to the public and to those health professionals so that they're able to get that protection. Now, how does that work within the state? Besides the repository, the cache, the, the pile of stuff that we have here within the state, we have our ability to request it from the federal government, the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, what we do is there's an official request that comes in through coordination with our county health departments and the state health department to realize that there is a need for this. That request goes in through the governor's office. The governor then makes an official request down to the C or up to the CDC and then we end up receiving that to a warehouse very similar to the one we're in right now. We stand up our operations for our RSS which is the receipt, store, and staging where we take the material from the federal government. Uh, we stage it such as we have here uh, in pallets and we get ready to break that down based on what the need is within each one of our jurisdictions. Uh, whether that's based on population and we do a straight breakdown on that or whether that's based on true need because there's a larger event going on in one area. One of the things to, to consider here is, is really how do we stand up our operations for receiving this material from the federal government when it's so necessary to have. Uh, what we end up doing is, is we actually uh, operationalize our plan. In other words, we, we open up our plan and we start doing what our plan, everything that we've planned for. Uh, we set up our, our operations at a, a special site to actually receive this. And this is a truly a collaborative effort. Uh, we pull in our partners, uh, including Arizona Division of Emergency Management, uh, Department of Public Safety, Department of Transportation, and, and, and the list goes on and on because this really is an effort that is very large and we need that support from all areas to make sure we can effectively execute this. You know, we can only do this so many times in the real world. The other thing we need to do is make sure that we can do it when that real event happens. And so we, we plan for this ongoing. Uh, we update our plans regularly for this, but more importantly, we exercise those plans. We actually stand up our operations in a, a testing environment to see what our shortcomings are and where our strengths are so we can build on those year after year so that when we do come to an event such as we did in the spring of 09 that we're able to respond as quickly and as effectively as we were able to. 